LinkedIn might be sufficient to manage your contacts, but the business card communicates your brand in real time. Although there are many options to store information about your contacts, the business card remains relevant. It is the visual, tactile representation of your brand and you. What considerations are needed to use business cards effectively? If you want to give someone your business card, do not announce your intention by saying, here's my card. A more polite way is to say, may I give you my card? This is a permission-seeking question that registers agreement. That feels better to the receiver than just having a card shoved at you at the will of the giver. Your card should be clean, neat, not tattered, and a good representation of your brand. Make sure the information is current and accurate. When giving a card, make sure the print is facing the receiver. When receiving a card, take it, look at it in silence, and then comment on it. You might say, oh, tell me about your logo, or I didn't know you were located in Chicago. Never write on it in the presence of the person who gave it to you. It is acceptable in the United States to store cards in a wallet or a purse. Investing in a card case to safely store your cards, as well as those you collect, is wise. Here are a few additional tips. Always carry your cards. You never know when someone will ask for yours. Never ask to give your card to someone of a higher level than you. Wait for them to ask for your card. A private dinner or a formal occasion is not conducive to exchanging cards. Keep card exchanges to public business and social events. Make sure your cards are printed well on exceptional quality paper. You want the weight, feel, and look of your card to extend a positive, successful image. Present your card to whoever greets you, receptionist, attendant, as well as those who you are there to see when visiting an office. There is still value in the business card. Used wisely and well, it remains a relevant tool to represent you and your